other activities in which I'm going to get into uh, throughout this presser. But yes, we do know and realize that this has been uh, an unusual weekend. Uh, we have been doing a great job at suppressing or dealing with crime over the last week. 285 crimes uh, last, reported last week. We averaged 300, 360 per week. So we were having a, uh, a great week with regards to addressing crime. But this weekend of violence sure outweighs what we had done all of last week. In each of our areas of concern with regards to crime, you hear me speak to homicide, non-fatal shootings, armed robberies. In each of those categories, we were down last week compared to the previous week. And that is why I defined last week as much you know, of a success up until this weekend. We had three homicides and four shootings over the weekend, 18 victims of gunfire, four of which uh, died since Friday. We had the five victims on Bourbon Street, 700 block of Bourbon, as well as four victims, uh, including one deceased in the 7700 block of Schubert. If you remember last week, we also had several victims in the 1600 block of Iberville, in which the mother turned in her son for that homicide. And again, I want to thank the mother for being that responsible parent and making that difficult difficult decision. Additionally, this morning, we had two individuals who were shot in the 1800 block of North Miro in the 5th District, one of which has since expired. We had three victims wounded in a domestic incident in the 300 block of North Villery. That is a domestic incident and now has been cleared by arrest. In a couple of these incidents, the Bourbon Street, for, uh, 700 block of Bourbon Street, as well as the shooting on Allen Street. I want to commend the men and women of the New Orleans Police Department. I want to commend our captains and Chief Thomas on being intentional and ensuring that they are placing their officers in the right areas. So with regards to these two particular crimes, the two particular shootings, our officers were Johnny on the spot. They were right there in the area when this occurred, in which they actually heard the gunfire. They responded to the gunfire. They called the incident in while responding to it. So that is evident that we are monitoring on a daily basis. We are adjusting our deployment on a daily basis. To, and unfortunately, this time it did not deter the criminal activity, but we know that we are able to place our officers in the right areas when need be necessary due to our daily uh, monitoring of what we see in the city of New Orleans. But throughout it all, we have remained engaged. Uh, we've arrested seven, last week, seven individuals for non-fatal shootings. Two of these shootings occurred last week. Uh, the other five are weeks prior, but nevertheless, that is what we're, we, when I speak to that commitment, that dedication, we have made several arrests, seven last week, five from the previous weeks, but two of these incidents or arrests that are made for incidents that occurred last week as well as two arrests for armed robberies. Within the span of nine hours on Saturday, and on Saturday going into Sunday, uh, involving this Bourbon Street shooting, our eight district officers arrested three individuals for possession of a firearm on Bourbon Street. Beginning at 7, I'm sorry, beginning at 5 p.m. or 5.15 on Saturday at Bourbon and Orleans, we had a 20-year-old to be arrested in possession of a Glock Model 2145 caliber weapon. This individual was from Shreveport. At 7.30 that same evening, in the 200 block of Bourbon, we arrested a 15-year-old in possession of a 9mm handgun. He is from Alabama. While responding to the shooting in the 700 block of Bourbon, we arrested a 17-year-old in possession of a 9mm as well. He is from Homer. So the common denominator, the common thing, common theme that we're hearing in this is that outsiders are bringing weapons to the streets of New Orleans. And we would not allow that. 
we do not allow our own citizens to illegally carry firearms, and we will not allow our visitors to do it either. We've also identified another concern. We've had three kids to be shot, three kids, over the last week. A seven-year-old, a two-year-old, and a three-year-old. All as a result of individuals being irresponsible in securing their weapons. The three-year-old and the seven-year-old were shot by another child who was mishandling the weapon. The two-year-old was a self-inflicted inflicted wound, I'm sorry, as a result of the weapons not properly being secured. More and more and more weapons are on our streets and being handled negligently, either through improperly storing or securing them or improperly using them, you know, resulting, you know, conflicts resulting in not just the individual that they're having the conflict with, that, go, that gun handler, that gun owner, but innocent bystanders being shot as a result of individuals mishandling a uh, firearm. These incidents remain under investigation, specifically with regards to the three children, our three kids that were shot in the city of New Orleans. Our child abuse unit is actively investigating each of these incidents. So again, my purpose today is to say, one, to our visitors as well as our own citizens, we will not allow you to continue to carry or illegally carry firearms on the streets of New Orleans. Do not bring your weapons to New Orleans. New Orleans is not a place to bring your weapons. If you want to come to New Orleans, Come to New Orleans and have fun. Enjoy our city, but do not leave your firearms at home. Number two, we need those gun owners to be more responsible in securing your weapons. We cannot afford to have another child killed, or in, not, not just killed, but injured as a result of a negligent uh, person with the firearm. And last but certainly not least, we at the New Orleans Police Department, we remain committed. We will continue to monitor. We will continue to adjust. We will continue to do our part in holding individuals responsible when they're doing something illegal. With that, Gary, I'll answer any questions that anyone may have. <laughs>